there and welcome to the locker room. Coach Giggs here and today's message, be you. You're fabulous just the way you are. Be you. You are fabulous just the way you are. Folks, I don't care what others have said about you. I don't care what you've said about yourself. You are fabulous. You know why I know this? Because God upstairs doesn't make any junk. Have you ever seen someone and thought as an example, wow, they're a little weird. This happened to me the other day when I was on Ocean Drive in South Beach, Miami, and I, I saw this 50 plus year old woman riding one of those three wheelers. You know, the one that has two wheels in the front and one in the back. Well, as I watched this woman coming down Ocean Drive, she had a buzz cut on her head. She had a few tattoos in unique places. You know the girl I'm talking about. But she was smiling. She was happy. She was excited. She was so in the zone riding her little trike. And, and I just smiled as she drove past me because she was being herself. When I speak to groups of people, I have a certain style, a certain way that I've grown real comfortable in. In the beginning, I would copy other speakers and people would say to me, Eric, it doesn't really sound like you. And that was because I was trying to be someone else. But over time, I would learn to be comfortable in my own skin in doing what I do and I would be myself and it was good enough. Early on though, as I told you, I tried copying other speakers and being like them and it just didn't work. I then had that happen here in my business. I had people who would see me speak and then speak and try to be me and it just didn't come out right. I would pull them aside, I'd say, listen, don't be me. Be you, because you're beautiful just the way you are. So never wish you were someone else. That's blasphemy. God made you beautiful and perfect just the way you are. And I don't care what others have told you or what you may think about yourself as you compare yourself to others. You're perfect, you're beautiful just the way you are. As you might imagine, I wasn't so good at doing what I do until I was myself. And I don't think you'll ever be great at what you do until yourself, you are yourself. So I learned what these speakers knew and then would go about doing it gigs style. The good news, it seems to work. So let me give you a few tips on being the very best you. Number one, take stock of your own strengths and weaknesses and focus on your strengths, not on your weaknesses. Tip number two, forgive yourself and don't worry about being as smart as the person next to you. For me, this was very easy because I've never considered myself to be that smart. So I've always believed in hanging around people smarter than me and usually uh, that was most people. Kidding aside, I don't worry about being as smart or being around other people who I think are smarter than I am. In fact, I love being around those people. And number three, after you've forgiven yourself and focused on your own strengths, have fun, enjoy, laugh at yourself, laugh at others, follow these simple steps do these three things and you will be the perfect you. And then you get to live out your very best life. Thanks for joining me in the locker room, gang, and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. If you know someone you feel has a special story to tell or like to share, please email Eric directly and he will reach out to you and or this individual, even if you think this person is you. And by the way, if you've enjoyed and feel The Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not share it with a friend by sending them the daily message?